I want to take you back to 1979 when Apocalypse Now won the Golden Palm here at Cannes. Everything kind of depended on this screening. Isn't that true? Because the movie had been rumored to be in trouble and... Yeah, no question. I mean, um, for all the things I was, I was scared. I only said, let's show the film at Cannes unfinished uh, a, a, as a necessity because the rumors of how, how much in trouble it was w were so now filling the papers that I felt my only defense was to just show it and hope that people said, oh no, it's not such a mess. We were struggling to convince people that the film was worthwhile at a time when everyone was saying it wasn't. So I was sort of uh, put in a position of having to show it and having to finish it. You make the edit very much not knowing whether the audience will accept it or not. The editing process now is made just to try to get as much uh, out of the film as good as it can be without the fear of it being judged uh, uh, by a small critical group or prematurely made into a failure. Monsieur. Hey. The dynamics of the fort. The fourchette? I think pretty much the way we did this scene, it doesn't need even any subtitles at all. I, don't, I wouldn't put subtitles. No, uh, it's just it's interesting because there's a lot of there's a lot of French, yeah. but you just know what they're talking about or you know what they're arguing about. Partez-vous, bien. Brother socialist, you know. I know we can't say. He was a socialist, you know. I was one of the editors back then who was taking things out because we were trying to make the film as short as possible. Now, um, Francis, over the last two years, has been saying, Walter, do you have any time to investigate putting some stuff back into Apocalypse Now? So I, I was frightened about, about going back into it because it's like a jungle. It, it, it was almost two years of my life and two million feet of film. And just a tremendous uh, amount of material that we finally got balanced in some balance back in 1979. So to go back into it and to upset that balance and to hopefully find all these pieces 20 years later, uh, it, it, it frightened me to begin with. And then I became curious. <laughs> I started assembling it as if you would from original material without any reference to how it might have been done in the past. We were the first second war. As I said, I was nervous going in because I'd forgotten, even at this level, how flexible film is, that it's clay, it's cinematic clay. How you make transitions and how you can make an audience think about something over here while you're doing something in this direction. Hold on. And then suddenly something is knit together that was separated by 24, 25 years. It, it felt to me like I was right there uh, back in 1978. I was able to recapture the spirit of the film.